David is in Oregon. Hi, David. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Hey, how you doing, man? So I'm uh, doing the debt snowball, and I've been doing it for the last several years, and I'm getting toward the end of it. I got about $7,000 in student loans left uh, and $5,000 on a car. Um, student loans would be my next uh, thing to tackle. Um, yet at the beginning of last year, um, I had my uh, stepfather pass away, and we had a lot of, to liquidate a lot of his uh, toys, boats, uh, cabin, things like this. Um, and these are all things that he's earned and, you know, has been, you know, him and my mother have been, uh, you know, keeping for themselves and whatnot, but she's, uh, now gifting me, uh, $20,000 and I'm nervous on how to approach this situation for what she's got right now. She's got it in an IRA. Um, and what she says, it's going to be making about $500 a year. Um, it doesn't seem like the best option for it. Uh, just wondering what, what would you, uh, suggest I do with this money? How old is she? Uh, she's 71. Okay. Well, she can cash out her IRA if she wants and pay taxes on it at 71. There'll be no penalties. Uh, and she can gift you up to $15,000 a year without any gift okay. tax. Any more than that, and there'll okay. be a gift tax on it unless she does some more sophisticated financial planning, which would be called the Uniform uh, Estate Tax Credit. And um, the Unified Estate Tax Credit. And so... You, um, uh, so she's probably, but after she pays her taxes, she's probably not going to have 20,000, probably going to be more like 15 if she's cashing out an IRA. She got plenty of money to live on. Yeah. Yeah. She's doing good. Uh, he, he had a pension through, uh, FedEx and she's got his social security and his pension. She's got about, I want to say 3000 coming in a month that she's living on. And she got any money other them. than this money? Uh, not that I'm aware of at the moment. I mean, she's, she's she does got, not need to give uh, you this money more. then. She's broke. I'm not sure. Um, you know, the house is paid for. Um, yeah. she, she's got, uh, you know, this money coming in monthly. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not exactly sure what her, uh, listen, if she has $3,000 a month coming in and she's 70 years old and has a paid for house and all she has to her name is $20,000 IRA, she does not need to give that away. She's got no money, man. Well, she's got a she's got a four hundred one k. I think she's got about eighty thousand in there as well. Yeah, it's not enough. Yeah, if she had eight hundred thousand. and wants to give you twenty. That's fine. But she got she got a hundred grand of her whole name, man. She doesn't she yeah. doesn't need to be giving this money away. That's sweet of her, but she doesn't need to do that. I, I would tell her to hold on to that right now, and you keep working your debt snowball. That would be my advice. Hey, thank you for the call.